San Francisco. It's the Cube covering Sumo Logic Illuminate 2018. Now here's Jeff Frick. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Jeff Frick here with the Cube. We're at Sumo Logic Illuminate at the Higher Regency uh, San Francisco International Airport in Burlingame, California. It's a big conference, the second year of the conference. About 600 people. We're excited to be here. And, and in addition to talking to the Sumo execs, which is good, even better, we get to talk to some of their customers. We're excited to have our next guest on. He's Brett Nelson, SaaS platform architect for Pitney Bowes. Brett, great to see you. You too. So Pitney Bowes is just, it seems like it's all over the place, these innovation conferences. You guys have, you know, it's a brand that's been around a long, long time, but making significant kind of digital transformation investments as you guys change that company. Yeah, you nailed it. I mean, transforming digitally is what we're all about right now. Moving more into mobile and web-based software solutions for our customers, really getting the thing that we do best right now, which is data and GIS, in the hands of customers to put it to use. Right, so you have a thing called the Commerce Cloud, which I hadn't even known about until, you know, kind of prepping for this interview. You guys have <laughs> a boatload of applications and services available in that Commerce Cloud. We do, and we use that term to describe the, the solutions that we bring to market in ways that customers want to use them. Uh, you know, we modernized all of our offerings and we have many, many APIs available now. Right, so. so I don't think most people would think of Pitney Bowes, I mean, I still think of the old machines, yeah. which is kind of silly because nobody even mails letters anymore, envelopes. So you guys had to digitally transform because That's right. of the space that you're in, and Absolutely. it's been changing a lot. So what's on, what's on the Commerce Cloud? What are the types of applications that you guys are delivering as part of this transformation process? Uh, some of the most important ones are shipping-based and mailing-based still, but they're, they're more about data about that and enabling shipping. So we have some great shipping products on the Commerce Cloud, and then we do a lot of GIS, a lot of uh, geo information available to customers. Um, CRM software enhancements that we offer via uh, API or on-prem software. So all those things tie back through to the Commerce Cloud. Okay, and then what are, they, what are your APIs going out to? What are people using your APIs for? Uh, things like location-based intelligence okay. is, a, is a big one. Um, and we have APIs for all the shipping apps as well. So you can ship via multiple carrier and track your packages all via API call. Wow, so. it's amazing. Take a look at it, it's, it's got a ton, a ton of stuff. So we're here at Sumo Logic Illuminate. So you're a customer. Yeah. Why, why are you a customer? How long have you been working with Sumo? What, what brought you to them in the first place? So when we started making big strides in the digital transformation, we had all these disparate products and disparate APIs crossing so many systems. And in order to have a decent time to resolution when you have an issue, you need to track all of those things in one place. So all of our applications that we bring through the Commerce Cloud now are enabled on Sumo Logic for aggregated logging. And we use important things like um, transaction IDs, and various ways to tie these calls together because they're coming from different places and going out different ways, but you need to be able to search effectively and quickly in one place to find your trouble spots. Right, yeah. that's such an important part, right? Because now, as you said, the applications, because everything's API based, yeah. is connecting both in and out all over the place. That's right. So to have that aggregated yep. kind of view into where the, the trouble spots is pretty, <laughs> pretty important. It's, Essential. And what, what kind of impact did it have? You, you mentioned before we turned on the cameras on, on mean time to, uh, to resolution. Mean time to resolution, it, uh, really the use of it transformed how we consider logging. When you're a single application, that's a completely different use case than when your success depends upon a web of other API calls that you don't control. So when we started doing serious logging aggregation, we rewrote the standard for how we log. Oh, you did, you completely yeah. rewrote the standard. We did. Yeah. Wow. Now the other piece is you've got a whole bunch of data um, in the back end of your system that you're yeah. seeing all this transactional flow and all the people that are using your services. How are you starting to use that data to deliver a better customer experience? So on the data side, we, we use Sumo primarily operationally today. We don't use it for long-term data store, data lake type functionality. Mm -hmm. We have a different data lake solution for that. But in using it operationally, it is just critical for knowing right away you're seeing certain types of errors on certain platforms when you have uh, common applications that front so many other important aspects 
you need to know immediately what's going on. Right, and how about the evolving role of security, right? The old walled garden approach, uh, you know, put a moat around the castle and hope nobody can jump it. Yeah. That doesn't work anymore. So today, you've got to bake security in all over the place. Yeah. So how has that, that security conversation impacted your use of Sumo? So, so we're maturing on the security side and Sumo is going to be a big piece of that. We don't use it a lot right now on okay. the security side, if I'm being totally honest. Absolutely, that's the, that's the, <laughs> <laughs> the truth will set you free, as they yep. say. Okay, great, so last, last question, kind of, you look forward priorities for 2019. What are some of the things on your plate that, you, uh, that you're working on? Well, we recently moved to the SSO model for using Sumo Logic, so I expect our use case to continue to ramp up. Um, what we want to do is use it smarter and use it in more directed fashion. We're going to enhance, like you mentioned, on the security side, and we're also going to be using analytics going right. forward more than it, we are today. And Ramin said, you know, he's seen a lot of the other customers, you know, where you, you they come in on a specific spot, but the applications and the usage across an ever-increasing group of users, yeah. you know, proliferates. Have you seen that as well? We absolutely have, which is why we had to go SSO. I mean, I, you know, I, we would get a new account and I would fill up the user base and it's just constantly clamoring for more. So we made the transition to SSO, so that should make that a lot easier. Well, that's a good thing, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, Brett. Yeah. Well, thanks, uh, thanks for spending a few minutes of your day and uh, great to catch up. All right. All right, he's Brett. I'm Jeff. You're watching theCUBE. We're at Sumologic Illuminate 2018. Thanks for watching.